There's a hidden toolbox in 3ds Max and it's packed with smart tools that I guarantee will save you time. Just like a chef needs the right tools to create a culinary masterpiece, 3D artists need the right tools to bring their designs to life. And whilst you can make dinner with a spoon, you're probably going to want to find a better way. The Transform Toolbox is like a Swiss army knife for 3D artists. It lets us rotate by a specific degree of your choice and this is based off of the viewing angle. So it's much faster than selecting our object, turning on angle snaps and rotating by 5 degrees and hoping you nail it. But it gets much better. We can scale objects to a certain size. But even better, you can select an object from your scene and find out its size. So why is this cool? Well it means then you can scale your object to fit the reference object you want to replace. And we want to use the X and we can push that in, select our object and set the scale. And this is mega handy in combination with the substitute modifier where we can just pick the object and that's been replaced. For that we can make a box, make it the size we want and then try and scale it by eye. Even quicker, a line pivot allows us to center or ground pivots and much more. And don't worry, I'm about to show you how you can assign shortcuts to these. This is much quicker than going to hierarchy, effect pivot, center to object, or turning on snaps and trying to snap it to the bottom of our object. Super helpfully, we can center an object to the scene, and again, much better than selecting the move tool and right clicking in each axis to center it. We can clone next to our object, again based on the viewing angle. Holding shift and clicking will make it an instance. Holding alt and clicking will make two copies. And holding shift and alt will make two instances. So how do you find it? You could go find it each time from edit, transform toolbox, but that takes some time. Or we could dock it on the side of our UI, but that takes up tons of room. Even better, we can add it to the toolbar, but that's still gonna be a click away. So the best thing to do is set up a shortcut, something like Control shift t assign it, and when we press Control shift t there's our toolbox. Talking of shortcuts, if you want to move your pivots quickly, you can press Alt-Shift-5, and that's going to center your pivot, center it to the scene, and ground your pivot. Pretty smart, right? There are four more time-saving tools that I didn't mention, so you'll want to go and watch this video, and let me know in the comments what takes up most of your time, and we can take a look at speeding it up.